We also have another big story out of Fort Bend County where a fugitive on the run has finally been captured. Charles Dyer was caught in Pecan Grove early this morning and then taken to the Fort Bend County Sheriff's Office. KHOU 11 News reporter Allison Triarcy is following that story and she's live with the latest. Allison. Ron, the news conference here inside the Fort Bend County Sheriff's Office just wrapped up and it seems that it all came down to a cherry limeade. That is what Charles Dyer told deputies. That, in fact, he came out from hiding along the Brazos River where he says he's been camped out for five days because he was tired and thirsty and wanted a Route 44 cherry limeade from Sonic. And sure enough, he only made it about two or three blocks away from that Sonic. He had the Route 44 drink in apparently a cooler when I person who lived in the neighborhood spotted him. He said he looked suspicious, and that's when he called deputies. And sure enough, we spoke to the deputy, Deputy Jeremy Goodrich, who got to the scene very quickly, immediately pulled out his gun, recognizing Charles Dyer, ordered him down on the ground, and then Charles Dyer proceeded to tell him he was Donald Harris, but within a few minutes, eventually admitted that he was, in fact, 31-year-old Charles Dyer. Now, you will remember, Dyer was wanted after he took off from Oklahoma. He was supposed to show up for a court hearing on charges that he raped a six-year-old little girl. He's been on the run since approximately August 12th. What deputies learned today is that they don't know why he came to the Texas area and certainly to Houston, but they know that once he got here, they don't believe he used a car, but that he's actually been walking along the Brazos River, camping there and staying hidden by day and then searching for food and water by night. He told the deputies that he was very tired. Here's what the chief deputy had to say about his capture. Anytime you get a fugitive off the street, especially one that is a child predator, uh, it's a major accomplishment. Uh, we're very fortunate that we don't have any indications assaulted or even approached by him at this point in Texas. But it's a, it's a major accomplishment to take anyone as fugitive off the street. It was originally thought that Charles Dyer might have weapons. Last year, he was convicted for unlawfully possessing a grenade launcher. He is part of a militia group called the Oath Seekers. But in fact, they say when they took him into custody, he didn't have any weapons on him. In fact, he wasn't even wearing a shirt. He was dirty. He had shorts on. He had a shirt on his shoulder. And he said he was just tired and hungry. Interestingly enough, he also had more than $1,000 in cash in his pocket. He will soon be extradited back to Oklahoma, but for now he's going to stay put in the Fort Bend County Sheriff's Department until all of that can be sorted out. It could take several days. Reporting live from the department, Allison Trier, CKHOU 11.